Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm shooting away at my home away from home at Shoot Point Blank in Carmel, Indiana because I was browsing through the cabinets and I found this. Recently I posted a video of the new pistol that came out of SIG's newly formed custom shop, Custom Works, and that was the AXG Scorpion. Overall it was a good pi uh, pistol, but it really wasn't for me. There were some things about the way it looked. I didn't really care for the trigger, that flat trigger, polymer trigger, and it just wasn't for me. I was also having some issues with it, with the slide not fully going into battery after, after the slide cycled. And I had a pretty bad experience with SIG's customer service when I called to ask about the problem that I was having. And instead I was given a, probably about a 15 minute lecture about a how to properly rack a slide. I may not be an expert, but I'm also, also not a beginner and I know how to rack a slide. So for a pistol that cost as much as these Custom Works pistols do, to be completely dismissed as an amateur and someone that doesn't know what they're doing by SIG's customer service was pretty annoying. But anyway, I was very pleased when I walked into the shop and I saw this, which is the second version from SIG's custom shop, and this is the P320 AXG Classic. In Classic, I think it's obvious what they're doing here. They're not doing all this camo stuff all over the place. They're just doing a black pistol, metal pistol, with the wood grips. And I really, really like the look. We're going to go through the pistol and um, tell you what I know about it. I really like also, we're going to get a little bit more into detail, the trigger. It is not the flat plastic trigger, but you got a little bit more of an old school curved trigger that it's a metal trigger. So overall, and this is nothing but personal taste, personal experience, I'm really liking the way this looks much better than the AXG Scorpion. Now it comes in with the same type of wonderful, beautiful Italian case. And this is the same as the AXG Scorpion did. And these are the same cases that come with when you purchase a Cabot 1911, they give you, they may give them also in cases that are made by Negrini, N-E-G-R-I-N-I, -I, Negrini Custom Works case. Um, this is, these are all made in Italy, really nice. It's got a combination lock, so you can lock it, you can travel it, and this actually qualifies for TSA as a lockable case that you can use to transport weapons in an airplane in your checked luggage. So they're very, very nice. And also little touches, not only up here with a with the material, the, vel the velvet up there, but also you can remove the cutouts. So if you do install an optic, you you can also put it in your case. It's not you get your nor your custom works coin, your challenge coin if you care about those kind of things, and you get three mags, three metal mags, and they're all unloaded. But you get 17 round mags. 17 plus 1, and let me just check the pistol, but it was checked prior to the video, and it is clear. So let me put, put this aside, get the case aside, and we'll take a look at the pistol itself. It's very nice. And we're back, taking a look at the SIG. P320 AXG Classic. And again, this is going to be an all metal gun, just like the a AXG Scorpion was. But according to SIG, and this is a quote from them, the intent of the P320 AXG Classic is, just like the name implied, was to take us back to the original roots and to get back to the old school of their first guns. As I mentioned in the intro, I really like this pistol. The slide, let's starting at the top. The slide is a stainless steel with a nitron finish. It's got the X-ray three night sights that are dovetailed in. Let you take a look at it there. So I like the, the sights a lot. Very nice sight picture. And as you saw, it is cut, cut for a red dot. So mounting an optic with this will not be a problem and you do not lose your rear sight. So I like that quite a bit as well. 
Just letting you take a look at it. Just very nice. I like the look of the pistol. It feels fantastic in the hand. We'll talk a little bit more about that. The red dots that are compatible with this mounting system will be the Romeo 01 Pro, the Delta Point Pro, and the RMR. So since it's an RMR, RMR footprint, you can also install your Holosuns and your Swamp Fox. I've been doing a lot of testing with the Swamp Fox and I'm very impressed with them. So letting you take a look at the pistol as I walk around it. Another nice thing about, it's a nice touch, and I talked about this with, um, with the AXG Scorpion, is that, you know, it's a modular chassis. It's like a regular P320 in that respect. You can remove the chassis, mount it in a different grip module, do a lot of things. You can do this, different calibers. And on the slide, on the side here, you're gonna see SIG Custom Works. Once again, just like with the AXG Scorpion, it is laser engraved, and to me, it looks kind of cheap. For a pistol that costs as much as this does and coming out of a custom workshop, I would have expected something a little bit nicer, maybe actually engraved into the slide and not something that feels like it's just gonna rub off the minute something scratches against it. But that's the way they do it. The grip module figures, uh, features the AXG mo grip module and it is absolutely fantastic in the hand. It has a very high undercut here, hoping the light can catch it there. The check ring is 1911, like from a fine 1911. It doesn't go all the way down, but it gives you enough. You can see the texture here. And the texture is not slippery on the grip module. It's kind of a matte texture, not only the look of it, but the feel of it. It's very nice, it's not slippery whatsoever. The trigger shoe is also metal, as I said earlier. And another thing that was very comfortable is the extended beaver tail. It just fits perfectly in your hand, keeping the gun exactly where it's supposed to be. Very, very nice. The, the grips are custom grips and they're made by Hogue. They're walnut grip, grips. And the panel in the back is also removable, exchangeable, but it's also wood. I think it gives it a fantastic look. I didn't like very much those piranha grips that the AXG Scorpion had, has. They are very grippy, very nice, but I just don't like the look of them. It's got a, an accessory rail here with a three slot 1913 rail, so you can hang whatever toy you want out of it. The mag release, I think they did a fantastic job with this. And mind you, I'm saying very nice things about a pistol made by a company that I'm pretty upset at right now. So that tells you how much I'm liking this. Round mag release with texture, hoping the light is catching that. And I, I have medium sized hands, true medium sized hands, and I can reach the mag release with no problem. And they just pop out with no problems whatsoever. So they did a very nice job with a mag release. Moving down onto the trigger, just like in the, in the AXG Scorpion, this too uses the, a, the Legion series trigger. And it also has a short reach curved, quote, old school, end quote, metal trigger shoe. So I like it. I like it much better than I did the flat trigger from the AXG Scorpion. It fits my hand, this is all personal preference, and we know the pistol is clear. It fits my hand perfectly. My finger, just the curvature fits very, very nicely. The trigger pull, I also think, and maybe specific to this particular sample and the sample that I had before with a Scorpion, but this particular trigger feels really good and much better than the other one did. Let's see how close I can get and not lose the focus. But you, you're there, you pull there, you from here, to here, you're at the wall. That's the movement, there. Very nice. Then you put a little bit more pressure. So to get it to break is three and a half to three and three quarter pounds. And there you go. Very little travel. 
and you're at the back. And then your reset is going to be right there. And then you're immediately at the wall. There. Let's do it again. There. Gone. So again, I don't know if the scorpion that I got was a bit of a lemon, but this trigger just feels miles away better than the other one did. And again, pulling a three and a half to three and three quarter pounds consistently, it was very nice. I'm not gonna take it apart for two reasons. Number one, this one's not mine yet. I'm filming it uh, borrowed from Shoot Point Blank. I'm filming at their location. Is it gonna go home with me? More than likely, but as of right now, it's not mine, so I don't want to scratch it. And number two, YouTube has been demonetizing my videos in, in, in which I showed how to disassemble and reassemble the pistol based on the instruction manual and the manufacturer's suggested procedure for maintenance of the pistol. YouTube doesn't care about that. To them, this is taking a pistol apart and then fix and putting it back to cleaning it and putting it back together signifies modifying a firearm. So you, you get demonetized. That's what happens when you're dealing with ignorance. But anyway, you know how to do this. It's typical 320. You know what you need to do. You need to, you need, you know what you need to do with this. And it just comes out. Now inside, you're going to have a 3.9 inch carbon steel barrel. And take a look there. So it's a 3.9 inch carbon steel barrel, typical 320. They're, they didn't do much of anything when it comes to the barrel. So that's about it. Let's take a look at the, quickly at the, at the specs. Overall, it's got a length of 7.4 inches. It's got a width of 1.3 inches. It's got a height of 5.5 inches. As I said, the barrel length is 3.9 inches and the total weight is 31.3 ounces. So I think it's uh, it just gives you the feel the, of the weight of a metal gun, which makes it feel really good, nice in your hand, very secure in your hand, but it is not too heavy that you can't carry it. Just really like this. The walnut grips are just beautiful. Beautiful grips. So what is this gonna cost you? Well, SIG, just by the putting the custom works on the side of the pistol, is of course gonna shoot it up in price. The MSRP on this pistol is $1,330. Let's call it that, $29.99. So $1,330. And retail is going for $1,299. Your mileage may vary, but that's the price. So I'd like to know what, what do you think? Do you think it's worth the price of admission? What do you think of this pistol in comparison with the AXG Scorpion? Do you like the Scorpion better or do you like the look of the Classic better? Of course, I think I neglected to say is of course nine millimeter. I mentioned that 3.9 inch barrel and it comes with three 17 round metal mags. Here's, here are the mags, by the way. Very nice quality mags, made in Italy. So I guess you can guess who makes them. So overall, I think it's a fantastic package. I was very much on the fence when it came to the AXG Scorpion, but this one, I really do feel that is worth the price of admission. Tell me what you think about it. I'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you to Point Blank for allowing me to do this. Please remember to pray for our country. Check me out on Instagram. I'm very active there. And usually there you can see what's coming down the pipeline before it hits YouTube. And until the next one, God bless.